Civilization began about 5,000 to 6,000 years ago. While it may not reflect a society that we're used to now, the concept of settling down in one place is still a relatively new development in human history. While most ancient settlements chose to live closer to rivers and oceans, we're now at a stage where we can start a city even in the middle of a desert, all thanks to modern engineering. Here are 12 of the most impressive mega-projects made possible with engineering from around the world that you need to see. As always, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Number 12. Chuao Shinkansen, Japan Fast trains have always been a cultural icon of Japan more than just an engineering feat. Known for introducing the bullet trains, or the Shinkansen, to the world, Japan has always been pushing the boundaries of engineering in a drive to make their trains even faster. The Chuao Shinkansen is the latest in their undertaking of building the world's fastest train with an expected launch in 2027. The new rail line will extend its railway network by another 178 miles and will be using the Maglev system, a train transportation system which relies on two magnets to move the carriages. This new line will initially connect Tokyo to Nagoya and will later be extended to Osaka. With an estimated speed of 311 miles an hour, passengers can clear the 178-mile track in just 40 minutes. This Chuo line will be running their latest train model called the LO series, which currently holds the world record for the fastest manned train. A lot of the Chuo line will be passing under the Japanese Alps, which explains the massive $85 billion project cost. Impressive engineering doesn't come cheap. Number 11. Mos, Venice the beautiful city of Venice is slowly sinking. Considered as one of the most unique and romantic cities in the world, Venice's very reason for its beauty might also be its bane. Venice is at a big risk of being flooded unlike ever before. In order to preserve and save the city, the MOS project was started in 2003. The project consists of 78 mobile gates and strategic zones at the Lido, Malamocco and Chioggia inlets, which can be raised like a barricade and, in theory, should protect the city from any tidal surges and the resulting floods. These gates are supposed to ward the city from tidal surges of up to 10 feet. With a lot of delays, the current estimated completion for this project is slated for 2021. Number 10. Great Garuda, Jakarta, Indonesia Similar to the problem faced by the city of Venice, Jakarta is also on the verge of sinking and flooding further. The Indonesian capital of Jakarta has been a site of various floodings over the years, with one of the worst hitting its coast in 2007. The storm brought in massive flooding in the city and displaced millions of its residents and killed 76. Since Jakarta is located on a flat coastal basin with many regions that are below the sea level, the problem of flooding is a constant worry for the citizens. It's also been reported that the city is in fact sinking at a rate of 3 to 4 inches every year. Why? Because of the weight of all the skyscrapers and other buildings in the city. To protect Jakarta from future floods, the Great Garuda project was undertaken in 2014. The project is a massive feat of engineering which serves as a sea wall, a water reservoir and a land reclamation project. This 20 to 25 mile sea wall is so massive that it'll have its own airport, harbour, industrial complex and residential areas. The project is expected to house 2 million inhabitants upon completion. This $40 billion project might be the saviour that Jakarta needs. Number 9. The Great Man-Made River Project, Libya If there is one good thing that the former dictator of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi, did for his country, it's the Great Man-Made River. The story starts in the 1950s when prospectors in search of oil stumbled upon a massive untapped underground source of water. Once the discovery was made, the plans for the GMR project began in the 60s, with the main intent of transporting this water from its source to the various cities in the country to support farms and communities. The project is divided into five stages, with the first being started in 1984. Though the project is currently at a standstill because of the political situation in Libya, it has however completed 750 miles of underground pipes and 1,300 wells, which provide 1.7 billion gallons of fresh water each day to all main cities and many rural regions in the country. The late Libyan leader used to call it the eighth wonder of the world. Number 8. Jubail II, Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia always ups the ante when it comes to their own engineering feats. The Jubail 2 is the latest in their plans. After the massive success of Jubail 1, an industrial city in the city of Jubail, the authorities have decided to go a step further and introduce plans for an expansion of this city, calling it Jubail 2. 
The $80 billion project will add 60 new bridges, 530 miles of roads and 50,000 residential units for workers. What's even more surprising is that the hefty project price tag is only for the basic infrastructure and real estate. The buildings need to be constructed by private companies who occupy the plots. Authorities are pretty confident about the success of Dubai 2 thanks to the past successes of Dubai 1. Number 7. UBS Arena, New York 2020 wasn't a great year for outdoors, but that didn't stop this mega-project taking shape. The UBS Arena in New York is an incredible project that will serve as the new home for the New York Islanders NHL team. At an estimated cost of $1.5 billion, this arena is unlike any other. The stadium will be built for hockey games as well as concerts. With a capacity for 19,000 people, this is one behemoth in the world of arenas. The arena will also have a 350,000 square foot retail and entertainment village. The UBS Arena will also rock the largest scoreboard in New York as well. Other technical marvels that this venue boasts are theatrical lighting, on-ice video projection system and the latest design audio system. The project is expected to be complete before the hockey season in 2021. Number 6. Crossrail, London If you've ever been to London, you know that the city is heavily reliant on its famed underground railway system. Called the Tube, colloquially, the ever-increasing commuters who depend on this network of transportation daily has pushed the government to expand this network further. The Crossrail project began in 2009 with the purpose of providing more convenient routes for the residents. The new network will connect 41 stations from Heathrow Airport on the west all the way to the east end of London. At an initial cost of $16 billion and completion date of 2018, the Crossrail project, like most mega-projects, is running behind of schedule and above its budget. The project is now expected to be completed by 2022, with an additional $10 billion added to the bill. The wait is worth it, considering how this network can ease the difficulty faced by both commuters and the railway companies. Number 5. South North Water Transfer Project, China Engineering has always been there to make our lives easier and more comfortable. China, being a massive country, had to depend on engineering to deal with a particular problem, that is, water shortage in the northern parts of the country. The South, on the other hand, has better access to water and, as a result, they have a better scope for growing food. As a solution to bring more water into the North from the South, the South North Water Transfer Project was devised. The project aims to transport 44 billion cubic meters of water from the Great Yangtze River in southern China to the arid regions up north. This ambitious project has so far costed $79 billion and it's only one-third done. As of now, the central section of the project is completed, which contains about 1,500 miles of canals. Once the project is completed, the north will see better days with increased water supply and greater room for agricultural expansion. One thing is for sure, this is one massively expansive endeavor. Number 4. The Jeddah Tower if you thought that the Burj Khalifa is going to reign over as the tallest building in the world for a long time, you're wrong. Saudi Arabia is at it again with its latest project, the Jeddah Tower in the city of Jeddah. The main intention behind this project is to build the first ever taller than one kilometer, 3,281 feet skyscraper in the world. Imagine a one kilometer tower up in the sky, probably the pinnacle of architectural engineering to date. Special high-speed elevators and air circulation systems had to be designed to work on a structure so tall. The Jeddah Tower began construction in 2013 and ran smoothly until 2018, when the work had to be stopped due to labor issues. The plan was then to resume work in 2020, and, well, you know what happened in 2020. As of now, the project has been stopped indefinitely, but once work picks up again, the Jeddah Tower will be an architectural marvel, fingers crossed. Number 3. The Palmeray, Scottsdale, USA If you have the money, you might just be able to get a property in the upcoming high-end project in Scottsdale, Arizona, called the Palmeray. The $2 billion development deal will come with a luxury shopping resort, its own Ritz-Carlton Hotel, 81 residential properties and many upscale offices. If you're a resident here, your home will have ionized air which helps in circulating germ-free air, which is a big need these days, as you can imagine. The property will also boast the longest resort pool in North America. So, how much will it cost to have your own place in the Palmeray? Well, for starters, condos start at $1.6 million, while family-sized properties will start from $5 million and upwards. Still want to move in here? Number 2. New Cairo Capital, Egypt 
Cairo, the ancient city in the capital of Egypt, is getting an upgrade. Well, not exactly an upgrade, but a relocation. New Cairo is an upcoming $45 billion project which aims to build a completely new administrative and financial capital for the country. Around 28 miles east of Old Cairo, New Cairo is being built to help expand the city without damaging the historical and archaeological wonders present in and around the ancient city. The new smart city will have 2,000 schools and colleges, 663 hospitals and clinics, and 1,250 mosques. What's more, New Cairo will have a new airport, several solar farms, and an impressive 90,000-seat soccer stadium. The city is expected to be completed by 2022, with several government departments already taking residence in the new city. With New Cairo on the horizon, Egypt lovers and the citizens can rest assured that the city's incredible history and heritage will be preserved while also growing the economy of the nation on the side. Sounds like a great deal. Number 1. The Baihatan Dam, China one of the latest in line is the Baihatan Dam, which will take the rank of the second largest hydroelectric facility in the world once completed. The dam has been constructed on the Jinsha River in southwest China and is expected to produce 16,000 megawatts with a regular flow of water. The $6 billion project is expected to produce more than 60 terawatt hours each year, unlike the Three Gorges Dam in Yishang, which is the largest hydroelectric project in the world. Once the Baihatan Dam is up and running in 2022, it should have a big impact in powering the surrounding cities. Enjoyed the video? Let us know in the comments what you think about these massive projects around the world. Before we let you go, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Later!